Daniel here, a blather video. I think this is blather 1043. Jesus' grandfather. I suppose it's probably Jesus' grandfather. Um, and great grandfather, yes. All right. Now, in um, in Jewish anti missionary teaching, they sometimes point to genealogies in Matthew chapter one and Luke chapter three that they're contradictory somewhat because they are, they are contradictory. But there's some things I want to point out a bit, just a few bits and pieces. Uh, Matthew chapter. One, the Gospel of Matthew, first book of the New Testament, chapter 1, verses um, 15 and 16 of chapter 1, first chapter of the New Testament. Okay, and Eliad begat Eleazar, and Eleazar begat Matan. And Matan begat Jacob, that's verse 15 and verse 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who was called Christ. Okay, so we have Eliahud, Eleazar, Matan, Jacob, Joseph, Jesus. So Matan, Mathan, or maybe Jacob, Joseph, Jesus. So um, in this one, Jesus' grandfather is Jacob, and his great grandfather is Matan. Okay, now let's look at Luke chapter 3. It's different in Luke chapter 3, but there's something which is interesting going on. Verses 23 and 24 of Luke chapter 3. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, okay, Joseph's dad, which was the son of Heli, not Jacob, son of he- he- Eli, Eli, maybe Eli. But this is the interesting thing, which was the son of Matat, Mephat. Not Mephan, but Mephat, there's a T instead of an N. Mephat, instead of Mephan, which was the son of Levi. So it's Mephat, Heli, Joseph, Jesus, in Luke chapter 3. But in Matthew chapter 1, it's Mephan, Mephan, Jacob, Joseph, Jesus. So it's approximately the same same great-grandfather's name. We see in the um, Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, that you get Nebuchadnezzar and Nebuchadrezzar. You get, you get both. So... Um, that's not really too much of an issue for ancient records and the way they're scribed out. If you want to fuss, you can, but to me, that's not too big a deal. So, Mephat looks reasonably consistent with Mephan. We have this one in between them. Between Joseph and Mephat, we have Heli and we have Jacob. Now, that's interesting. Heli or Jacob, it's interesting. So, some sort of legitimacy is potentially going on here. You know, it's like, Heli could have been called Jacob, maybe, or Jacob was also known as Heli or something. Who knows? I know one particular, there's a few, there's probably more occurrences in the um, Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, but one of King David's, King David, I think it's King David's sons, is called Daniel. But in some... Other verses, he's also called Chiliab by the looks of it. The Daniel Fowler is also known as Chiliab by the looks of it, potentially. There could be two different people, I don't know for sure. But I think Daniel is also known as Chiliab. So um, it's interesting. So perhaps Jacob is Heli or Heli. Perhaps it's the same person. Sometimes there's arguments that it's Mary's genealogy. But looking at Matat with Matan, probably the same person. 
the uh, Matthew one is fourteen generations, while the Luke, Luke fourteen generations back to David or whatever it was, and then fourteen generations back to Abraham. Some people, uh, Catholic priests, likes to say that's poetical. I suppose it is, just being nice, and pretty. But um, Luke is possibly a, a bit more, a bit more accurate, maybe, but more fully fleshed out one, perhaps. So, um, big contradiction. Zerubbabel, of course, is in both of them. Zerubbabel, governor of Jews in both genealogies, Matthew 1 and Luke 3. So, you know, just the records which they had. You know, if records weren't kept perfectly, that's not a sin to have stuff which wasn't kept perfectly. Still enough potentially truth going on. Hmm.